A community's worst fears realized in Merced County. A family of four kidnapped this week and found dead in a field last night. Family and friends trying to cope with that news. They lost their whole family and the person who committed that act, he is really a evil. That suspected killer, 48-year-old Jesus Salgado, was arrested on Tuesday. He tried to take his own life before deputies took him into custody. He's currently recovering in the hospital. The deputies say they're searching for someone else who may have been involved. The four people Salgado is accused of killing were kidnapped on Monday. They are Jasleen Kaur, her husband Jasdeep Singh, and their eight-month-old Aruhi Derry, and Jasdeep's brother, Amandeep Singh. They're all taken at their trucking business in Merced. A rancher found them in a field last night. Now family members are starting to process the tragic end. KCRA 3's Leanne Denyer is in Merced, where those who loved this family are grieving. What a shock. Well, it's certainly a heavy night here in Merced as a vigil for the Singh family is being set up right now. A family spokesperson told us these were kind, hardworking people who did not deserve what happened to them. For those who knew the Merced family. It's a really big tragedy for the family, for the community, and for all of us. Authorities say four family members, including an eight-month-old, were kidnapped from a business and later found dead. For friends and family, it is too much to take in. We were praying in the uh, temple. We were praying our own everywhere. So we, we discussed everybody, you know, do your best, pay for them. But uh, this is what the... Uh, this happen. Officials say surveillance video shows the family being taken against their will. They were later found dead in an orchard. The news rattling those who loved and knew them. They lost their whole family and the person who committed that act, he is really a evil. He has no respect for the humankind. Family friends shared that the family, including two brothers, had immigrated from India to the U.S. in the early 2000s and were currently expanding a local trucking business. We are very hard worker people. Security is a very hard worker people, very loyal people, very honest people. And now a community is grieving and trying to make sense of a senseless act. It will be very tough. It is very, very tough for the whole family and they are not even, you know, want to speak with them, anybody and they're kind of in trauma. And we are here with the community to, you know, give them a moral support to get back to normal. But, you know, such tragic things, you know, it will take time. Yes, yeah, certainly will take some time. And here at Bob Hart Square in Merced, you can see that a vigil is starting to come together. The music has just been turned on. There are some folks trickling in. A vigil here is going to take place tonight all the way through Sunday night. It's set to get started at 7 o'clock here again in Bob Hart Square in Merced, set to run from 7 to 9 o'clock tonight in Merced. Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Leon, thank you. The suspected killer, Jesus Salgado, had worked for the family. He had been convicted back in 2005 for robbery and sentenced to eight years in prison. The victim in that case says Salgado showed up to his home one night and held his family at gunpoint. The Merced County Sheriff says the motive in that robbery and this kidnapping may be similar. The original case in 20 or 2005 was based upon his belief that that company owed him money. I believe it's similar on this one here, and it could be even further. Uh, obviously, I believe truly that at the very beginning of this, his intention was to kill these people. The Merced County Sheriff says he spent an hour with family members today to talk about the case. He says Salgado is expected to make a full recovery. So let's show you the timeline of the investigation. The California Highway Patrol was called Monday morning about a truck fire. Crews put out the fire and tried to find the owner. The owner was Amandeep Singh. Merced police tried to contact Singh at his home. He wasn't there. They were able to find a family member. Then family members tried to call Amandeep as well and his brother. When no one could reach them, they realized that something wasn't right. In the early afternoon, Merced County deputies went to the family trucking business and determined that a crime took place. They found surveillance video showing the kidnapping. On Tuesday, family members of the suspected killer called law enforcement. Jesus Salgado was later found after trying to kill himself. Last night, a rancher working the harvest found the bodies of the family and called deputies. 
And again, the city of Merced hosting a candlelight vigil for that family tonight at 7 o'clock. The vigil will be held in downtown Merced at Bob Hart Square on West Main Street. Vigils will be held there every night through October 9th.